In today's video, I want to share some ideas around creating beautiful news pages for your SharePoint online sites. And if you know me well enough, you know that there's going to be some PowerPoint in there, of course. My focus will be using all the Office 365 apps and services, well, not all of them, but a lot of them, um, to add content to your pages. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Now, firstly, the news pages actually is a site page that lives in your site or your pages library as well. And to create a news page, you have to create it from the news um, web part. So by going here and saying news post, I can create a page that then runs through the news feed as well as um, in your mobile as well. It shows as news. So when we create a page um, and we start a new post. Now, first, I'm going to pick the type of page that I want. Um, I'm going to create the page. I'm going to give it a name. So let's say Microsoft, oops, Microsoft 365 Cloud Immersion experience okay and I'll be the owner of this which is fine I normally turn the comments off on my page because I prefer to use forms and then of course we can add a banner as well now before we add the banner remember that I'm a very big fan of PowerPoint so um, in this image I've uh, or in this PowerPoint I've just added five images I'm feeling a bit naturey today and I kind of like that banner that I see at the top there so I'm gonna just use my um, green shot or your snipping tool and I'm going to just save this so that I can use it as a banner and there we go beautiful banner I'm gonna say add you can position it as well of course if you have logos or things on it that you want to put focus on I am going to change this because I prefer this look but you can do a color block as well um, love the color block but it just takes up too much space on my page so unless this is a banner with image and text and stuff as well I'd rather just use the image and title now if I look at my, my page I think something to remember is that you won't read a um, article in a magazine or in a newspaper if it was one big column okay it's just uh, we prefer to lease, uh, read these little snippets of things so I prefer having two or three columns um, on my page and for this article I've made a decision, I'm going to just save a draft quickly, I've made a decision to add multiple um, components into this um, page. So let's just um, edit that again. So my first section, I am going to be adding, let's say, I want to use a vertical section as well. I prefer using this for, for um, forms and for Yammer. And then in this section, I just want to zoom out a bit. So let's add two columns. There we go. So in the first section, I'm going to add some text. So on the, I don't know, 17th of June, we hosted a Microsoft 365 Cloud Immersion Experience Day. Um, on this newsletter, you'll find all the resources shared and some valuable tips etc okay not going to spend too much time on that so the first resource i do want to share um, is for example the sway that i used okay so if i look i just want to snap my page out so i could add a sway here so you'll see that if you search for sway you only find embedded code now when you go to a sway if i view a sway that i've built when you go to share this way, you have the ability to share it with a link or I can get the embedded code as well. So I'm going to just grab the embedded code and I'm going to use that to build the sway into my page. Normally, I build the sway into a bigger web part, um, depending on what the content is on it. So it could be built into a bigger web part here at the bottom. Now, in this right hand side, I want to bring in a little survey. So let's go to Microsoft Forms. And there's my Microsoft ecosystem, what you should know um, that I've built. So let's get the sharing link. Let's go back. So in this section, let's search for forms. And I'll just paste that link there. And we want to collect responses. Okay, so now we're not giving... Um, detail we're collecting responses see why I use that vertical column because it really helps because it's quite a long survey that I'm adding on the right hand side of the page so that's all like a preference thing I suppose then in this uh, specific part I can now also let's think of it um, 
maybe we should put the sway here in a bigger web part so that people can page through it. And then in this one, there's a stream video that I want to add. So let's go to my channels. So maybe I'll do that little find time video. So I'm going to share. I'm going to copy it when I go back to the page. I can then also, if I search for stream, you'll see there's stream. And then um, it's not all of stream. I want to look at a single video, not a channel. So I can bring the video in as well. So I've got some text here. I can bring the video in as well, which means that this section I can add more content. So let's take a look at what else we want to add. So um, you can even add a YouTube video, by the way. So if I go and I have a YouTube video that I want to add and I go to share again, I'm going to copy the embedded code. So there we go. I'm going to copy it. And on the page, if I search for YouTube, actually, I don't need the embedded code. I just remembered. You can even paste the link or the embedded code. So there I can add a YouTube video. And let's take a look. Maybe you wanted to give directions to something. Now, I know that my page is starting to look like chaos. Okay. Wasn't quite the plan. So maybe... Um, let's not worry too much about it. Maybe you also wanted to give uh, directions where people, where the event was held. It's just an example. So if I go to Google, let's say this is Microsoft Bryanston. I'm going to go share. I'm going to get the embedded code, copy HTML. And um, that means I can even paste a Google map in there. Again, my placement's a bit dodgy at the moment. I would uh, definitely structure this a little bit better. And then I think lastly, which might be a bit too long for this, we can see how that goes out. I also want to add my Yammer group. So I want to ask people to uh, to give their input, etc. So if I go and add Yammer, oopsie, spelling is important. And it's a specific group that I want to add. Now I don't need to copy anything. I can just search for the group. So I've got a social community. I'm going to just change this to only show the last um one item so um, people can actually get involved and share ideas and things as well so let's take a look at what else we can add so we've got a youtube video we've got a google map we've even got a microsoft form we've got a sway that we've built in to uh, that people can page through we can add some more um i don't know things here as well so let's go image Um, let's say we had, I don't know, a photo booth as well, just for fun. So we had this great event. Here's a video that you can find. Um, there's a form that you can fill in. There's a great survey. I can even bring in YouTube. I can bring in Google. Um, I brought in Yammer as well. Um, of course, I mean, as crazy as it is, is, seeing as we're building this crazy page at the moment, I can even bring in Twitter, for example. So maybe I want to say, hey, follow the Microsoft Twitter handle. Okay, and I can say how many tweets I wanted to show. So I can put it in a little text box and say, hey, check out the Microsoft tweets for latest um, items that might be displayed or to follow things. So, and then of course, because it's a news page, you can even link to other cool things. So maybe there's another article that you did that um, you just want to bring people's attention to. So I'm going to say add link. I'm going to just pick another um, page that I've built. So um, let's say this Microsoft story was a good link. I can then modify this web part as well. And so I want it to be a button. I want it to be a full color and I'm going to use an icon. So, um, there we go, a nice cloud icon. So, there we go. I can even bring in, um, like I said, buttons to other pages. Um, and you can also bring in files, by the way. Again, I'm busy building a crazy um, news page here. I just want to show you all the examples. So, even if I had a document that I wanted to share, I could also bring that in. So let's take a look. There's this great article I want to add. So I'm going to go File Viewer, and then I can go and select from my site where that document's loaded. So it's in my Info Hub, and there's a file unblocking teamwork, which I really thought would be a great resource to share with people as well. So what an incredible way. Like I said, my structure has gone a little bit whack. It's not quite as pretty as it should be. So maybe I can move Twitter there 
and I can move this map there. It already like looks a little bit better, could be. And then of course, you can add images as well. So let's just for the fun of filling up a page, um, add an image. There we go. Looks a little bit better. It's still a bit long here at the bottom, but I'm not too worried about that. So there's a beautiful news page with lots of information on it. Of course, it's all about the information that you share with people. It's, it's not so much, um, the information is more important than the technology, but uh, the technology definitely goes a long way to help us to do this. So think of the content, the, that per perfect saying of uh, fail to plan and plan to fail. Okay, so plan your content. What do you want to share on that page? Is it a, a nice campaign around like um, sharing information or awareness or training, which means you can put a video on it, and you can put a stream on it. Is it a, I don't know, do you want to track the Sway's uh, analytics as well in the background, which is also a great way to do those type of things. So now if I save the draft, then people that has only read access to the site will not see the saved draft yet. Um, I always suggest to keep on saving the draft while you're working until you're ready to publish it. We'll just give it a moment for all of these other things to load as well. Hopefully that'll happen soon. And then if I post the news, it will be published. And by published, I mean you'll see it on the landing page. So if I go to the landing page, you will see that there is now a new news article. So the Microsoft 365 Cloud Immersion Experience was published today. It will always also be visible in the news. It just takes a moment to populate there. So it will be available on the mobile device as well under news. So quite a great way to see that. So let's take a look. There's my Sway. So people can actually watch the Sway as well. So very, very cool. On the page, they can watch the Sway or play this way, they can fill in the survey, they can watch this video, there's a map that says where was it, I've got a Twitter feed, even Yammer conversation so people can actually um, like engage on Yammer as well, and then there's some uh, graphics, and then I even loaded a file viewer on the page, and this all comes from my site, so it's already loaded on my intranet, and people can then actually engage with it. I prefer to load the content already and then just add it and not upload it to the page. So I prefer to load the document in the place where it belongs and then to actually upload it on the page. So great idea. And then of course, you can promote these pages as well. Not everyone, especially when you're new to Microsoft 365, so you might have to promote it. I'm gonna say promote via email and you could send it to yourself and then from your Outlook, send it out to the all company group or the all training and awareness group or whatever and you can put a little message in and it then gives a little synopsis as well that people can click on and then open the mail so from here you can just send it to yourself if you have a group that you send from from your outlook um, like a setup company distribution list but um, you could definitely do that. The nice thing is, is that I can also send to specific groups that already exist. Now remember, teams are groups. So if there's a team created for a specific group of people, you can actually mail it to them as well. So I can say I want to send it to human resources. So there you can see you can even pick specific teams um, that you have. So such a great thing to use the news pages. Think of it as uh, bringing all that information together that you want to share with someone. They can consume it from mobile devices as well. Of course, the web parts will wrap underneath each other. I hope that you have fun and we'll chat soon.